So now we have NVX and associated devices in Studio. How do we configure it to make it work? The Source Routes section of System Designer allows us to add and configure our control devices and to connect their inputs and outputs to AV sources in your project. The Source Routing Diagram lets us quickly and easily connect devices to the NVX and output destinations. The Media Zone is a configuration element specifying that a room is using that specific set of AV outputs and or displays. Everything else in the Source Routes Diagram is a physical link between the various devices. First, we must make sure the boardroom is enabled as a media zone. If a device that Studio considers a source is added to a location, that location will automatically be enabled as a media zone. Clicking the media zone icon toggles the media zone as enabled or disabled. Upon selecting the checkbox preceding the device in the Source Routes tree, a graphic image of the device will be displayed in the Source Routes canvas. The device currently selected is outlined in a black line rectangle. Device properties, as well as media connector properties, are available on a device once selected in the Source Routes diagram. These properties are used to configure a device, to change the type of connector if needed, or to set up switching commands, typically in displays. The device's image in the Source Routes canvas displays the inputs and outputs of each device, called collectively connectors. Connectors are numbered starting from top left. Connectors within the same group number and the same direction can form a connector group for easy organization. The type of connector of third-party devices can be changed to match exactly the connector of your device. Please note, the connector type and direction properties may be edited for third-party devices only. Type and direction for connectors of a Crestron device are fixed and cannot be changed. Toggle the device location checkbox again to remove its graphic representation from the source route's canvas. To remove the device from your system permanently, select it from the Source Routes tree and choose Delete from the right-click menu or press Delete. Let's connect the media sources to the NVX, the display, and then to the media zone. Add the media source devices from the Source Routes tree to the routing canvas. Click the source and select the desired connector, press the left mouse key and drag the line to an input of the same type. Note that Crestron Studio will prevent you from connecting incompatible signal types. Different signal types are typically shown with different colors. Release the mouse key when the desired input is highlighted. NVX uses a virtual switcher in source routes to connect the transmitters to the receivers. This virtual switcher is automatically added with the NVX. Connect the displays to media-enabled rooms to complete the routing diagram. If a device needs a switching command on the connector, typically displays, select it in Connector Properties. In Connector Properties. Additional device properties, such as device IDs or addresses, can be configured here as well. Use the Auto Layout icon to rearrange the completed routing diagram automatically if desired. Source route connections can be shown or hidden using the visible checkbox. To remove an existing source route's connection, select the connection to be removed, right click and select Delete link or press Delete. The Source Routes Diagram can be saved as a PNG image by clicking the Save Source Route Diagram as an Image button, browsing to where the file should be saved, and clicking Save. Source Routes directs Studio under the hood to configure the resulting program for seamless source selection and switching of the NVX-based program, displays, 
and audio devices.